15 things you've been using wrong your whole life. Number 15. Finding the sweet spot. Apparently, there's a sweet spot on each and every Heinz ketchup bottle, and the makers of Heinz even took the time out to mark it. That tiny embossed 57 located near the top of each ketchup bottle is meant to be tapped with a knife to force the condiment to flow from the bottle smoothly. No longer is the practice of hitting the bottom of the ketchup bottle seen as acceptable. If you aren't finding and using that sweet spot, you're not doing things right. Number 14. Pulling your extension cords apart. Hooking up an extension cord is supposed to be simple enough, but sometimes it can prove to be quite a challenge. If you are dragging an extension cord outside or upstairs or anywhere that is too far away from the plug, it will probably pop right out of the socket, making you go back and plug it in. By tying the two cords together before plugging them into each other, you prevent them from pulling apart, regardless if you drag the cord around the entire outside of your house. Save yourself the hassle and tie your cords first. Number 13. The way you store your peanut butter. If you went to your pantry and you read your peanut butter label right side up, then you are storing it wrong. In order to better distribute the oils within the jar, you're supposed to store your peanut butter jar upside down. Now you won't ever have to waste time steering your peanut butter ever again. I'm not sure why peanut butter companies wouldn't print their labels upside down to help educate others, but most don't. As you can see from this picture though, the people over at Nutso know which direction to print their labels. Number 12. Another ketchup trick. We have all been duped by this one. I'm sure the majority of you have, at one point or another, been to a fast food restaurant and gone inside the building to eat. If you have, and you are a fan of ketchup, you probably picked up one or two of those little paper cups and filled it to the brim with ketchup. If you've ever filled up that cup before opening the cup up and giving yourself almost twice as much room for ketchup, then you've been doing it wrong. This picture shows you how to use the cup the wrong way. In this picture, you can see someone has finally got a clue. Number 11. The True Flexibility of Band-Aids for this one, it isn't so much about everyone doing it wrong to begin with. It's about learning a way to make band-aids far more efficient. Traditionally, we unwrap the band-aid, place the cotton pad on the cut, and wrap the sticky sides around our finger the best way we know how. Usually, you get stuck with a band-aid that isn't fitting properly, especially if your cut is on a knuckle or a fingertip. Sometimes, it even slides off. To prevent all of that from happening, all you have to do is make a few tiny cuts into the wings of one of the band-aids. As you can see in this photo, this is one way to cut your band-aid. Simply make this cut, wrap your finger, and see how much flatter the sides will lay down. In this picture, you can see another cutting hack, this time in a series of step-by-step -step instructions. Number 10. The Cupcake Sandwich even though we've been eating cupcakes this way our whole lives, it's not technically correct. I used to think that when biting into a cupcake, the fact that the frosting gets on your nose was just a part of the fun of eating a miniature cake. I also thought that it was a fun game to play to try to get a little bit of frosting with each bite of cupcake. I'm proud to say that this is a challenge I've come to master. Apparently, if you decided to do things correctly, you take the wrapper off the cupcake, you rip the whole thing in half horizontally, then you take the bottom of the cupcake part, flip it over, and push it down on top of the frosting. Now, you not only prevent frosting from getting on your nose, you ensure that you get the perfect ratio of frosting to cupcake. Number 9. The Soda Tab Straw Holder If you thought that the hole in the tab on top of the soda can was so that you can get a better grip on the tab before you pop your drink open, you've been doing things wrong. While you may think that it helps open your soda, it was actually included in the design to enhance your drinking experience. I don't know if you've noticed, but if you put a drinking straw into your Coke, the carbonation will push your straw up into the air and sometimes out of your drink altogether. To prevent that from happening, soda can makers made a hole in the tab so that you could feed a straw through it and it would stay throughout the entire duration of your beverage. Now you know. Number 8. Earbuds go over, not under. This isn't a toilet paper roll debate. We're talking about those little bud headphones that everyone just sticks in their ears. Instead of just going in for the kill, they were designed to wrap around the back of your ear, around the top and held in place like that. Now you can go for a jog without your headphones falling out all the time. Number 7. Peeling bananas. This is something that really shocked me when I found out the right way to do it. If you're still peeling your bananas by pulling from the end with the stem, you're doing it wrong. The right way to peel a banana is to start from the opposite side, the one that you thought was the bottom. All you have to do is pinch both sides and pull apart. It's 10 times easier than peeling it the other way, and now you don't get a partially smushed banana because you pulled the stem too hard. Just check out this monkey. He's got the right idea. Number 6. That strange hole in your pot. Believe it or not, it was not put there so that you could hang the pot from a pots and pans rack. It was put there to hold your cooking utensil instead of having to go out and purchase a spoon rest. No longer do you have to break off a paper towel just to keep your countertops clean. Just use the hole at the end of the handle. Number 5. Chinese takeout comes with plates. Well, really, they come as the plates, but still, I'm impressed. Instead of pulling out a set of dishes next time you order Chinese takeout, just unhook the corners of the actual Chinese takeout container and unfold to reveal a makeshift plate that will prevent anyone from having to clean any dishes. Number 4. The Spaghetti Measurement 
You may have thought that the hole in the middle of your pasta spoon was to help you drain the water from the pot after you finished cooking your noodles. You were actually pretty far from the truth. The hole in the center of the spoon was made for you to fill up with spaghetti, which would result in the perfect single serving. Number 3. Keyboard Feet When little feet began to appear on the bottom sides of our keyboards, the world collectively thought that they were to make the keyboard more ergonomic. However, the feet were intended to allow the users to see the print on the individual keys better, since they were at a more viewable angle. It's actually more ergonomic for you to type with your keyboard flat on your desk. And now you know. Number 2. The Beanie Bobble The little puff of fabric on the top of your favorite wintertime hat isn't just added for show. It once had an actual purpose for existing. It used to be that French Marines would wear these hats to prevent them from hitting their heads on the low cabin ceilings while they were out at sea. After the trend had caught on, the bobbles were used to define different military branches by using different sizes, shapes, and colors. You can see one of such hats in this picture. Number 1. The Lollipop Whistle for decades, people who bought a lollipop from the popular Chupa Chups brand thought that the little hole at the end of the stick was a whistle, but they were wrong. Even though you can actually make a whistling noise from the plastic stick, the hole was purposely added to the candy's design to prevent the candy from falling off the stick. Since the candy is still liquid when the plastic stick is inserted, the soft candy fills the hole, and when the whole thing hardens, the candy stays stuck on the lollipop form. Well, that's it. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week. Deuces! Bye! Better.